In this video, we're going to look at how to set up your Titan once you've received it. So we've taken the main components out of the bag and we're going to go through a step-by-step -step guide of how to get it ready for the clinic. Now the first thing to do is to set up the cradle. So we've got two pieces to the cradle. Let's have a look at the main body to begin before we put the back on. So if we look at the main body, at the very back we've got some ports for power and connection to your laptop. So we put the power cable in first. This one slides into the power 5 volt 2.5 amp port. Give that a little firm shove to make sure it's seated. The next uh, port to connect is for your USB. So we place the USB connection in situ. Again, it's a tight fit, so do be quite firm once you have it aligned. Once we have those connected, we can then slide the back onto the uh, cradle. So we have two ridges. Place those in situ and then slide until you feel it click. The wires can now be put through the opening on the back to keep them nice and secure and ready then to complete the cradle. We'll put the accessory holder onto the back, give that a firm shove to make sure it's in situ and then we'll have a look at the batteries. Your Titan comes with two sets of batteries one as a spare to charge. Both are marked in the same way, this side up, with three pins on the bottom. Let's put the one in the cradle to begin. If we look inside the cradle, we can see the three pins, and we can line that up with the battery and place that as so. Once this is powered up, this will charge the spare battery. In the handset, we'll place the second battery. We slide off the back. We take our second battery, marked in the same way as the first one that we put into the cradle, this side up. We've got three pins in the unit and then ports for the battery to be located. Once in, it's quite a snug fit, but you can bring it out by just easing it forward if required to place the second battery. Then we can place the base back onto the unit and we're ready then to look at the ports. Now the probes, uh, we have two probes, the short probe located on the top here and the long CAC uh, probe cable. Let's look at the short probe to begin with. To remove the probe, on the base of the unit, you'll see a round circle, which is a button. That removes the locator pin to allow the successful removal of the port. If we want to add the clinical extension cable, we can look at the end of the port. We have an arrow marked on the end and also a red arrow marked on the Titan unit. If we line these up, you don't necessarily need to push the back as it will go across, but it may make it just a bit easier if you just release the retaining pin and then put it in situ. You'll find on the end of your clinical extension cable a protector. Now it's important that when we're testing, obviously we remove that protector, but keep it safe. Because when we want to then move the unit or place it in, uh, into a different location. We want to cover that over so we prevent any damage to the clinical extension cable probe. Once we're ready to connect the Titan to the laptop, we can see that the cradle is powered on because we'll have a green power indicator. You'll see next to the spare battery, we've got a flashing indicator. That's telling us that the spare battery is charging in the cradle. Once that battery is charged, we'll have a solid green light. Then we'll take the USB cable and connect that to the laptop. Now we're ready to use the unit. So we've got a couple of different options with the Titan. Let's power it on to begin with. We can take the right or left button, hold for a few seconds, and we'll see the unit power up. The screen will illuminate when it's ready for testing. We can press the center button to move through the different menus and select the tests that we want to carry out. When we're finished with the unit and we want to power down, we can hold both buttons simultaneously, the right and left, and the unit will turn off. When we're ready for testing, we have two different options. We can either use as a handheld unit, and by that we can then place and clip the clinical extension cable onto the patient and hold and select the appropriate testing as required. If we want to use it via the laptop and make it PC controlled, we can place the unit directly into the cradle. Once it's successfully connected to the laptop, you'll hear an indicator, an audible tone, but you can double check the screen because on the screen it will say that it's PC controlled. We're now ready to operate it through the software on the laptop. 
Now that we're ready to use our tight, let's turn our attention back to the bag. So in our bag we have our cavities to check the function of the tympanometer. And also tucked away in some of the pockets you'll find some consumables. So we have our tip tips and also some cleaning uh, tools to make sure that the probe is free of wax or any debris. Included with your installation is your certification of calibration. And now you're ready to undertake tympanometry. If you need any further help or support, then please contact us directly via the service hub.